Hello everyone. So today we are going to see cursors in PLSQL. So what is a cursor? Cursor is a temporary memory or a private SQL area or a workspace. So why we need a cursor? So let's suppose this is our Oracle server and this is database. So the users will users will request the data from the Oracle server. So it will access data from the database. So if the more number of users are there, so the performance of the database will be decreased. So in that case, what we'll do? We will create here a cursor. So the data, whatever user want, that will be gone to the cursor. So whatever user gave request to this server, that will we will access from this cursor so what will happen the database performance will be increased so for that purpose we will use the cursor and there are two types of cursors first one is explicit cursor that is user defined cursor second one is implicit cursor that we can say system defined cursor so let us see what is explicit cursor so these cursors are creating by user for holding multiple rows but we can access only one row at a time if we create if you want to create an explicit cursor we need to follow following four steps first one is declaring a cursor second one is open a cursor third one is fetch row from a cursor fourth one is close a cursor so what will happen first we declare a cursor so memory will be allocated to the cursor second is opening a cursor so let's suppose this is our database so after opening a cursor what will happen the data of this will go on to this and store into this cursor third one is fetch the cursor we can fetch the data from the cursor and close the cursor closing cursor means this will be destroyed so these are the four steps we have to follow so let's see one by one so declaring a cursor what is the syntax declare cursor cursor name is selected we'll see one of the practical next one is opening a cursor open cursor name third one is fetching data from the cursor so for that syntax is fetch cursor name into variables fourth one is closing a cursor so for that close cursor name so let us see one of the example so here we will see one of the example that is write a program to fetch single row from the employee table so here i am using sql plus prompt and here i have already created one of the table that is employee table and it is having some data now we will write a cursor program to fetch first employee name and salary so let's go here and this is our program so let me explain this first step is declaring cursor and this is select statement next we are declaring the variable first one is variable employee name data type varchar2 variable salary data type number this is declaration block next one is execution block so in cursor second step is opening the cursor then fetching the data and displaying data and at last we will close the cursor end of the execution block and execution slash so what will happen declaring a cursor so memory will be allocated and cursor name will be c1 next one is opening a cursor cursor will open and this is our database so whatever corresponding data related to this select query that will be stored into this cursor then we will fetch the data so what happen first row data will be stored into these variables now we are displaying data and at the end close the cursor so this will be destroyed now let us execute this and 
here I have not set server output on so by default it is off that's why we are not getting this data so let me set server output on execute this now let us execute and here we can see Scott and its salary is coming that means first one employee name and his salary so now in this program we are getting only first row data because what we are doing we are fetching first row and closing the cursor so we didn't get second row data so if we want further row how can we fetch let us see let me go here and uh, up till this let me copy and go here paste here and again after fetching this will be first row next if you want to fetch second row what we'll do let me copy this go here paste here so this will, this will fetch second row again copy paste this will fetch third row so in that way we can fetch other rows then close the cursor close c1 end of execution block let's execute and here we can see three rows data is coming but if we have thousands of rows then we need to write this much program so far so this much program we have to write so for our so for replacing this much lines of code we use the loops so how to fetch data from the cursor using loops we will see in the next video but before that we will see attributes so attributes of explicit cursor so why we use attributes so it shows the status of the cursor and it returns boolean value so first attribute is percentile is open and syntax of declaring attribute is cursor name percentile attribute first one is percentile is open what will happen it returns true when the cursor open successfully next one is found so it will return true when the cursor contains data third one is not found percentile not found so it returns true when the cursor doesn't find any data and last one is percentile row count so it will return number of fetch statement executed that means number of rows present and its return type is number so these are the attributes so how to fetch data from cursor using loops and how to use these attributes we will see in next video